Hello friends, today I have a new addition in my home lab devices that is this Cisco 3750 PoE switch. I got this from one of my friends and he totally don't know what is this and how to use it. So I take it and when I log in, I get surprised that someone set the password on it and no one know it. So now I'm going to show you how to do the password recovery on Cisco 3750 switch step by step. Steps are same for other switches like Cisco 2960 series or 3550 series switches. So let's start it. Now to do the password recovery on this Cisco 3750 switch, the step one is we have to power off this switch. And here you can see the power cable. I'm going to disconnect this power cable on this switch. To enable the password recovery mechanism on this Cisco switch, the process is First, we have to press and hold this mode button and then we have to connect this power. Keep press and hold this mode button approximate 10 to 15 seconds until not see password recovery mechanism on terminal application. That show password recovery mechanism is enabled and then leave this mode button. And here you can see password recovery mechanism is enabled and now I'm going to leave this mode button. Now first we need to initiate the flash for that I type flash underscore initiate and enter. Switch will take couple of seconds to initiate the flash and after that I type load helper and enter. The next command is dir flash and enter. Now here you can see the configuration file with name config.txt. This file store the switch configuration along with password details. So basically what we do now, we have to rename the startup config file here. So when the switch boot or restart, switch will load the blank configuration and that enable us to log in without any credentials. To do that, we use command rename flash config dot text to flash config dot text dot old and enter. So we successfully rename the config dot text file and now we go ahead and restart the switch. For that I type boot and enter. Now switch will be going to restart and it will take couple of minutes to reboot. I am going to fast forward this to make my video short. And now here you can see switch finish booting and I press enter here. As we rename the startup config file, switch think it's a blank switch with no old configuration and loading first time. So switch ask me to terminate auto install. I say yes and enter. And now switch ask me to initiate configuration dialog. I say no, enter and that's it. Now here you can see this time I can log in switch without any password. But we don't finish yet. Here I type enable and enter. Now to see the configuration file name again, I type dir flash enter. And here you can see the configuration file name that is config.txt.old Now the first step is rename startup config.txt.old file back to original name that is config.txt To do that I type rename flash config.txt.old to flash config.txt and enter. We want to confirm the file name with config.txt. We say yes and enter again. And now we want to copy startup config into running config. To do that, I use command copy flash config.txt to running config and enter and enter again. And now it's time to change the password. Remember, 
there are two steps where someone can set the password in Cisco switch. I don't know someone set the password on both stages of the switch or no. So for safe sight, I will change password on both steps. The first step is while we log in via party or in simple word on console port. And the second step when we use enable command. So I need to change the password and secret on both steps. So for that first I will go to global config mode with command config t and enter. And now here I reset the password. So first to reset console port password or login password I type line console 0 and enter. Next command is password and here I can give the new password on console port. For example I type admin. It's the easiest password but not recommended and enter and next command is login. So when someone want to log in via console port they have to enter this password and exit. That's it. I changed login password but maybe enable password or secret still there. To change that I type command enable password admin. Now I successfully change the enable password also but maybe someone set the secret also. So next command is enable secret admin123 and enter and that's it and now go to save the configuration. Save the configuration is must otherwise if you restart the switch it will go back to the old configuration. To save the configuration first I need to exit from global config mode and type right here and enter. That's it and I successfully saved the configuration and we done. We successfully changed the password and secret on the Cisco 3750 switch. And so to test our password, I will go exit from this switch configuration. I type exit and enter. Now I exit from the switch. Now to test, I press enter here. And now here you can see switch is asking the console port password. That is admin be set. Admin and enter. That's it. I can successfully log into the switch. And when I use the command enable, it asks me the password again. Now here I put my password ad am I in admin and enter. But it's fail because if you set enable password and secret both on your switch, then the secret have the priority on your password. So here I have to type my secret that is admin123 and enter. That's it. I successfully log in this switch. So that's it. We successfully reset the Cisco 3750 switch password. As we know, it's old switch. So I have doubt this switch contain old iOS version. So I need to upgrade the iOS of this Cisco switch also. To check the current iOS version on this switch, I type show version and enter. And here you can see the current iOS version on this Cisco switch. Now I will go to Cisco website and check the latest release of iOS version of this Cisco 3750 switch. And here you can see the latest iOS version of Cisco 3750 switch that released on 2014. And here you can see my current iOS version in this switch and the latest iOS version of the switch on the Cisco website is different. So it's mean I have the old iOS version in this switch. Now in next video, I am going to show you how to download this old iOS version from switch to your PC via TFTP and how to upgrade the new iOS to your Cisco 3750 switch. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon. Thank you for watching.